As all of you have committed a breach of faith, the Archbishop will now pass judgment. Inciting a kingdom noble to rebel. Unlawful entry. The attempted assassination of the Archbishop. An attack on the Holy Mausoleum. It is unnecessary to go on, followers of the Western Church. What? We have nothing to do with the Western Church. You have already been identified. Please spare us your second-rate theater. Dishonoring a holy ceremony is worthy of death for a member of the Church. You are well past the hope of redemption. If you have any grace remaining, you will willingly offer your life as atonement for this crime. No, this isn't what we were told would happen. We've been deceived! It's no use arguing. Whatever your excuse, the punishment stands. May your souls find peace as they return to the Goddess. Wait, please! The Goddess would never forgive you for our execution! Monster, we know you've already slaughtered many of our fellow brethren like this. This concludes the investigation. Please remove these poor lost souls from my sight. I suppose that's that. The assassination attempt, the attack on the Holy Mausoleum... Looks like it was all a plot by the Western Church. It's just too bad that that masked knight who was leading the attack got away. Vanished without a trace. But why would the Western Church want to attack Lady Rhea? Why? Take your pick of reasons. Relations with the Western Church aren't exactly friendly. Oh, that's right. Gerald mentioned that you grew up completely isolated from the Church. The Church of Seros is split into a few different branches across Fodlan. The Central Church is headquartered right here at Garrick Mach. Then there's the Western Church. Far west from Castle Gaspar, where Lord Lanato had his little rebellion, is the fortress city of Aryan Road. It's the strongest fortress in the kingdom. On the other side of it is the headquarters of the Western Church. Not too smart to bicker with people who worship the same goddess as you. The Bishop of the Western Church must be pretty ambitious. Probably hopes to split off completely. In which case, he'd need to weaken the Central Church's influence. Killing Rhea is certainly one way to do that. To the shock of no one, I hear the Knights have been sent to subdue the leaders of the Western Church. We'll probably get a chance to assist. You're an odd one, aren't you, Professor? How'd you make it this far in life without ever interacting with the Church? I can't believe someone like you exists in Fodlin. It's too strange. If you think that's weird, consider the fact that Rhea hired Teach despite all that. So those guys they caught... They all got the axe, right? That's brutal. Lady Rhea can be rather intimidating at times. In fact, she can be downright terrifying. Professor, those who cannot be saved must be delivered to the Goddess for judgment. Is that not so? There you are, Professor. It seems Lady Rhea would like a word with you. Come with me. The Archbishop lives. Not that I had ever placed much faith in those swine from the Western Church. I have news, both good and bad. The remains of Saros were not in a tomb. However, something else was. The Sword of the Creator. Ah, the weapon wielded by that thief, the King of Liberation. Thief? Huh. At any rate, it is now in the hands of the Academy's new professor. I doubt you will be surprised to hear that the Crest Stone had already been removed from the sword when it was found. Hmm. As expected. It would be foolish to keep both in the same location. There's more. The professor was able to awaken the sword's true power. Even without the Crest Stone, the sword glowed red. The Professor's Crest is compatible. There is no mistaking it. Absurd. Using a relic without its Crest Stone should be impossible. 
the King of Liberation's bloodline should not even... Hmm. They must be allowed to keep it, for now. I do not have enough information about the Professor to act. As for your request, I assent. The Death Knight is at your command. Use him well. Good. I believe I will enjoy this a great deal. I cannot thank you enough for defeating those invaders in the Holy Mausoleum, and especially for protecting the Sword of the Creator. That sword is one of the hero's relics, and the most precious artifact in the Church's possession. It is also a weapon of terrifying power. For now, I will entrust the sword to you. Please, use it wisely. Lady Rhea, wait! Do you truly mean to give the sword of the Creator to this... stranger? Surely it is not the sort of thing one hands over so readily, even to someone who has the ability to wield it. If someone like Nemesis were to appear again, all of Fodlan would be consumed by war. Nemesis, the King of Liberation. He is an ancient king of mankind who was defeated by Seros over a thousand years ago. When Fodlan was attacked by wicked gods, it is said that the goddess gifted Nemesis with the Sword of the Creator. Nemesis used that sword to defeat the wicked gods, saving all of Fodlan. Henceforth, he was dubbed the King of Liberation. However, his power began to corrupt him until he himself turned to the darkness. Saint Seros was forced to destroy him. Lady Rhea, I beg you to reconsider. Given a little more time, we could more accurately assess this stranger's abilities. No. I have faith, Sedeth. Faith that our friend here will not be corrupted by wickedness. Since the death of Nemesis, none have been able to wield the Sword Eater. Now, after all those long years of being sealed away, it has returned and found a new master. I understand. As you wish, Lady Rhea. There you have it, Professor. See that you do not betray the trust the Archbishop has seen fit to bestow upon you. The Sword of the Creator? The King of Liberation? Each tale is more confusing than the last. And I really can't read that Rhea at all. That sword is clearly precious, so why is she so keen to gift the thing to you? I feel as though we have become entangled in a mystery. And there is one more thing that has been plaguing me. The Sword of the Creator. It somehow feels distinct from other relics we have seen. Such as the one that... Oh goodness, what was her name? Ka... Ka... Yes, her! The Sword of the Creator is different from her Thunderbrand in one key way. It bears a hole, where something should have been, but is no more. I despise not knowing what is going on. It... it frightens me. And yet, I place my trust in you. I must. Whatever comes to pass, please swear to cut a path that is your own. The Sword of the Creator, pulled right from the Legends. I finally found it, and yet it ended up in Teach's hands. Could I even use it anyway? Ah, damn it. There's no telling what's to come. Part 1 White clouds, verdant rain moon, tower of black winds.
The ceaseless rains that satiate the verdant landscape of Fodlan are accompanied by fierce winds and mighty roars of thunder. This abundance of rain, sparkling as it falls against beams of emerging sunlight, is a constant reminder to the people of Fodlan that nature is ever wild and unpredictable. For when the rain finally does take pause, the clouds part and give way to a glorious rainbow. I have a new mission for you, Professor. I would like for you to take your students into Kingdom territory to eliminate some thieves. They stole a hero's relic from House Gautier of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, the Lands of Ruin. Their leader's name is Miklan. He is apparently a disowned son of House Gautier. This skirmish involves a holy relic, and is therefore more than a single noble is capable of resolving. The hero's relics are immensely powerful weapons. We must meet this threat with adequate force. Unfortunately, most of the Knights of Seros are away from the monastery, purging the apostates of the Western Church. So we are entrusting you with this mission. After all, you wield the Sword of the Creator, which is more than capable of opposing any relic. The Sword of the Creator is a powerful weapon well beyond the other relics. You have nothing to fear. However, to ensure that no harm comes to the students, we will also send the Monastery's most skilled individuals to aid you. I must remind you that you are expected to conduct yourself in a manner befitting the wielder of that holy sword. Also, you should know that Professor Hanneman has been looking for you. That is all. Hey, Teach. I gotta say, I never would have guessed you were a descendant of the King of Liberation. You didn't forget, did you? That story I told you about a relic that could cut a mountain in half? That relic was the Sword of the Creator, the very same used by Nemesis, the King of Liberation. Don't be coy, Teach. The Sword of the Creator could only be wielded by Nemesis. If you can use it too, that can only mean you have that bloodline's crest. Fine, keep your secrets. But just so you know, I don't understand isn't gonna cut it here at the monastery. Speaking of, Professor Hanneman has been looking for you. He probably wants to examine your crest with those crazy instruments of his. Actually, sounds amusing. Maybe I'll tag along. If it isn't my little Claude, what has you so worked up? Judith? What are you doing here? That's Lady Judith to you, boy. I told you, until you're in charge, I expect you to address me with all due respect. Anyway, I'm here to retrieve you. Duke Regan's condition has taken a turn for the worse. Are you saying the old man's on his deathbed? No, it's not that bad. But in the state he's in, he won't be able to participate in the next roundtable conference. He wants you to go in his stead. I volunteered to play the messenger. Well, thanks for that. Oh, and uh, Teach, this is Judith, also known as the hero of House Daphnel. So you're little Claude's teacher, are you? How much trouble has he been giving you? If her nickname didn't give it away, you should know that Judith, uh, Lady Judith, is the leader of the famous House Daphnel of the Leicester Alliance. She used to be a big deal at the roundtable conferences, but it seems of late she's been reduced to a mere... You had better shut that mouth before I put my boot in it, you tactless nuisance. Now come on, let's get going. Sorry, Professor, but I need to borrow the boy for a bit. I suppose we'll have to finish our chat later. Sorry, Teach. But don't you worry, 
I'll be back in time for our next mission. All right, Judith, let's get going. It's Lady... Uh, I suppose you are the active leader for the time being. Fair enough, boy. Fair enough. Good of you to come, Professor. I've heard much about you lately. Specifically, that you are able to awaken the sword of the Creator's power. Thusly, it seems the true nature of your crest has been uncovered. I had, of course, seen your crest before. However, at first, I failed to recognize its true nature. Eventually, it dawned on me that what is visible is perhaps merely a small part of a greater whole. In other words, your crest is too significant to be detected when using normal instruments. After this discovery, I began researching crests that might fit that description, which allowed for a temporary hypothesis. However, I could not be certain. The crest my conclusions led me to was far too unusual. A crest thought to have disappeared from this world in the millennium since the fall of Nemesis, the King of Liberation. The Crest of Flames. That is what you possess. Your ability to wield the Sword of the Creator has unequivocally proven my hypothesis. A legendary power, dormant since time immemorial and now resurrected, there can be no doubt that this ancient power resides within you. Thank you. Professor, Gerald was looking for you. It seems he has gone off somewhere. If he is not in his room, then surely someone has seen him. Ask around. I have something to ask of you. I have something to ask of you. be rather bewildered by the power that was hidden within. However, know that I believe in you. I have no doubt that you will use that power justly. You will most certainly fulfill the grand destiny that the Goddess has seen fit to grant you. May I ask a favor of you?
Gerald? I just saw him in the Knight's Hall a little while ago. He was talking with a female knight, but I didn't get a good look at who she was. <laughs> oh my! The Crest of Flames? Could it really? Yes, the actual crest of flames! <laughs> no, that is quite enough. I should compose myself. I must remain objective in my research. Objective, professional. <sighs> the scandal with the Western Church troubles me. We cannot afford to let ourselves be swept along, and yet... Professor Hanneman's been acting a bit... strange? Maybe he's made some kind of big discovery. Gerald? He said something about visiting a grave. There's a graveyard attached to the monastery, so you'll probably find him there. I can't remember where the graveyard is, but I bet Sedith knows. I am Rodrigue Achille Fraudarius. I bear the great honor of serving as a lord in the kingdom of Fargus. I have come in Margrave Gautier's stead to retrieve their stolen relic. However, as I hear it, a group of students is to attend to this matter. I sincerely hope no harm comes to any of them. they never asked for. For a hero's relic to be stolen, it's unheard of. And just last month, the sword of the creator was almost stolen too. <laughs> also quite unheard of. What impudence. It seems that our next mission is another bandit hunt. This time I've heard that their leader is the son of a noble family. <laughs> what a complete disgrace to the nobility. Why is that fish so... 
Still. Wait. Is it swimming sideways? Perhaps... Perhaps it is resigned to its woeful fate of being plucked from the water and eaten. Ah, oh, Professor. You are so outgoing with all of the students. I would like to have more opportunities to connect with you. Though I am certain my brother would disapprove. Might you help me with a favor? You're all set. See you again soon. Use your help. Hello. <sighs> Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Oh, come to think of it. Last month, there was something to report, wasn't there? Thanks to you, I hear that everything was resolved. I never realized that bandits had entered. I'm not a great guard after all, am I? I hope you will forgive me one day. Maybe. Now I could count on you. Hey there. Come back anytime. Thank you for returning it. 
Ah, the graveyard. Of course I know it. It can be a little hard to find. Would you like me to show you where it is? Very well. Go back. Ah, it can be a little hard to find. Very well. Uh, hey, I wanted to ask you to join me, but I couldn't find you. So, here I am. I was thinking we should visit your mother. She's resting beneath this humble grave. Hmm? Oh, of course you would ask that. I wouldn't know where to begin. I suppose I haven't talked much about her. She was gentle and smart. Oh, so smart. A wonderful cook. Always kind to everyone. And... She loved flowers. Whenever I brought her back an unusual flower, her face would light up. I cherish those memories. <laughs> I can't count how many times she made me happy just by smiling. And she smiled the most when she was pregnant with you. She died right after you were born. She wasn't able to spend much time with you. But she loved you with all her heart. That's the truest thing I know. Never forget it. This ring is the only keepsake I have of her. In time, it will be yours. One day, I hope you'll give this ring to someone you love as well as I love her. Practice yields results. Well done. You have my thanks. Seems that our next mission is a Thank you for bringing this to me.
Dear Goddess, I ask for guidance. Professor, I suppose you came by to pray too? I see. That's why I'm here too. Oh, um, nothing specific. I only call upon the goddess to give thanks, or perhaps to ask for protection. Anyhow, I should be on my way. Um, okay. I'm sorry. I don't really know what to say. I'm not very good at talking to people. The truth is, I didn't interact with people too often before I came here. Oh, um, no particular reason. I'm simply not very good at it. That's just how I am. Ah, uh, um, thank you. I'm sorry, you shouldn't waste your time worrying about me. Please, just ignore me. I, um, have to be going now. Goodbye, Professor. This is delicious! My absolute favorite! That looks delicious. Goddess, forgive me. I've just got to indulge. <laughs> My cooking is so good, it's been called seductive. Should I show you what I can do, Professor? Hmm, right. I do so enjoy cutting up vegetables in preparation to cook. So I'll do that and leave you with the cleanup. Oh.